this is my motion sensing light. I made a video on this. It's working pretty well. And I was showing the battery box. This is a USB compatible lithium ion battery box. It has four lithium ion batteries in them. The ones I have is about a little over 5 amps altogether. That means uh, they're about 25 watts. And I also mentioned you can use the solar panel to uh, charge the batteries. Now when you think of solar power, you think uh, it, it might be complicated and uh, you need some special knowledge or how to set this kind of thing up. Actually, you don't because I made this setup here USB powered. This light is USB and charging of this box is also USB. You can plug it into your computer or in this case here you can use a solar panel like this. This is about two and a half watts. This is 500 milliamp at 5 volt. And in order to use this as a charger I attach a little adapter. This is a voltage booster. You can input 2, point, uh, 2 volt to 6 volt and it can output 3.3 .3 to 9 volt and up to 2 amps. This adapter here I bought it for around $5 from a seller on eBay Polu from China and by default it's pretty much about a little over 5 volt because that's the standard USB protocol. So basically if you want to charge it I just unplug the USB from here and plug it into the USB output here. Put the solar panel under the sun and that's it. Um, the only thing is the input here I would have to use this kind of connector is a micro USB. So this end to solar panel this end to the input here for charging. But since this is only two and a half watts it will theoretically take ten hours to charge this back up. But most of the time we don't let the lithium ion battery go to less than 3 volt or so. Actually I think there's circuitry in here to prevent you from doing that. Uh, if you discharge the lithium ion battery too much you might not be able to recharge them again. So I haven't really discharged my batteries that far down but uh, like I said when it when the power level is low there's an indicator here actually when the power level is low that's the indicator you charge it either through your computer you can use a computer to charge it or you can use the solar panel. So I thought I would make a little video because uh, when we think of or when we talk about solar and solar power, solar charging, you think it's something complicated. You just have to connect your solar panel uh, positive to positive, negative and negative and in between you put a blocking diode so that you won't um, you won't backfeed your solar panel and here I also added a capacitor so that the uh, the uh, DC would be a little smoother but if you're just using it for lighting a light like this there will be no problem you can actually use this to charge a cell phone directly or use solar panel to charge your battery and then use this to power your USB devices. So oops. this is how it looks. This is the mini USB. There's also a three 
there's also another uh, input here. I think it's, I'm not sure, 3.5 or 5.1 mm input. And this light here, this is also a flashlight. Press the switch on the side, it becomes a, a flashlight. And this turns off everything. Okay, I thought to me it, this is this is a very useful box. Put whatever kind of lithium ion batteries in there. Put the cheap ones and you put the expensive ones. And uh, you can power a lot of things with it. Okay, thanks for watching.